previous President Barack Obama channeled almost $1 million to Fusion GPS, the firm behind the notorious Pisgate dossier. As indicated by fact filings, since April of 2016, the Obama crusade paid $972,000 to Perkins Coie, the worldwide law office who held Fusion GPS and paid them to deliver the imposter Russia Trump report. TheFederalist.com reports, the Washington Post announced a week ago that Perkins Coie, a worldwide law office, was coordinated by both the Democratic National Committee DNC, and Hillary Clinton's battle to hold Fusion GPS in April of 2016 to uncover Earth on then-hopeful Donald Trump. Combination GPS at that point procured Christopher Steele, a previous British covert agent, to accumulate a dossier of charges that Trump and his crusade effectively plotted with the Russian government amid the 2016 decision. Despite the fact that a significant number of the cases in the dossier have been specifically discredited, None of the dossier's affirmations of conspiracy have been freely confirmed. Legal counselors for Steele conceded in court filings last April that his work was not checked and was never intended to be made open. OFA Obama's legitimate battle arm in 2016, paid almost $800,000 to Perkins Coie in 2016 alone, as indicated by FAC records. The initial 2016 installments to Perkins Coie ordered just as legitimate services, were made April 25 to 26, 2016, and totaled $98,047. A moment bunch of installments, additionally named legitimate services, were dispensed to the law office on September 29, 2016, and totaled precisely $700,000. Installments from Ofad Perkins Coie in 2017 totaled $100,000. $1,725 through August 22, 2017. Fact records and government court records demonstrate that Mark Elias, the Perkins Coie legal counselor whom the Washington Post detailed was in charge of the installments to Fusion GPS for the benefit of Clinton's battle in the DNC, likewise already filled in as a direction for OFA. In Shamblin v. Obama for America, a 2013 case in government court in Florida, elected court records list alliance as all the while filling in as lead lawyer for both OFA and the DNC. OFA, which dealt with Obama's effective redecision battle in 2012, retooled after that crusade to concentrate on establishing the president's plan amid his last term in office. The gathering rearranged again after the 2016 decision and intended to utilize its staff and assets to restrict President Donald Trump. Amid the whole 2016 battle cycle, the gathering spent just $4.5 million, as indicated by FAC records. Government records demonstrate that Hillary Clinton's legitimate battle association, Hillary for America, paid just shy of $5.1 million to Perkins Coie in 2016. The DNC paid about $5.4 million to the law office in 2016. The planning and nature of the installments to Perkins Coie by Obama's legitimate battle arm bring up huge issues about whether OFA was subsidizing Fusion GPS, the amount Obama and his group thought about the substance and provenance of the dossier well before its substance were made open and whether the president or his administration lieutenants purposely utilized a fanatic political archive to legitimize official government activities focusing on the president's political adversaries named in the dossier. As per the Washington Post, Fusion GPS was first held by Perkins Coie for the benefit of the Democratic National Committee DNC, and Hillary Clinton's presidential battle in April of 2016. While Hillary's crusade, Obama's battle association, and the DNC were at the same time paying Perkins Coie, the companion of one of Fusion GPS's key representatives was working specifically for Obama in the West Wing. Shayla Murray, a previous Washington Post columnist turned political agent, was filling in as a best correspondences counsel to Obama while the Obama organization was purportedly utilizing data from the dossier to legitimize mystery observation of Trump battle staff. Murray is hitched to Neil King, a previous Wall Street Journal columnist who was enlisted by Fusion GPS in December of 2016. While at the Wall Street Journal, King worked close by Fusion GPS's center group, 
notwithstanding offering bylines to Glenn Simpson, the Fusion GPS official who actually enlisted Steele to test Trump's asserted Russia associations. The significance of the dossier financed by Democrats, dispatched by Fusion GPS, and assembled by Steele, is hard to exaggerate given that its substance were apparently informed to both President Obama and after that President-elect Trump. The dossier was in the end distributed in full by BuzzFeed on January 10. On January 12, as per CNN and FBI Director James Comey had informed Trump on the claims in Steele's dossier. Steele conceded in court filings that he had shopped a great part of the data in his dossier to various media outlets starting in September of 2016. Combination GPS which has been blamed for wrongfully working as an undisclosed operator of outside governments, is at present confronting various congressional investigation into its exercises and its customers. Bill Browder, whose lawyer was purportedly killed by Russian experts in the wake of publicizing hazardous charges of Russian extortion and illegal tax avoidance, claimed in congressional declaration last July that Fusion GPS was paid by Russians to undermine U.S. sanctions against the nation. Before the end of last week, Fusion GPS apparently hit an arrangement with U.S. House agents with respect to a government subpoena of the association's bank records. What's more, in September, Senator Thro Grassley, Republican Iowa, who fills in as executive of the Senate Judiciary Committee, apparently asked for that the U.S. Treasury Department's Budgetary Violations Unit furnish his panel with all suspicious action reports identified with Fusion GPS's bank exchanges. Following reports of Perkins Coie's part in channeling cash to Fusion GPS, the Campaign Legal Center, a non-fanatic battle back guard dog, recorded a dissension with the fact affirming that the mystery financing plans disregarded government crusade divulgence laws. Combination GPS is likewise confronting a different criticism suit in government court identified with claims in the dossier. That case which was brought by three Russian specialists who case to have been criticized in the Steele dossier, was documented in government court in Washington, D.C., toward the beginning of October. Combination GPS is yet to react to those claims in court.